Finding that chemistry. Oh, and Hannes, he scores! Klaus Hannes with a highlight real goal. Wraps it around the back of the net for his second of the night. I don't believe what I just saw. The lacrosse move. Many of you know it as the Michigan. But what you call it isn't important. Can you do it? Well, in today's epi, we're gonna learn the history behind how the move started and just how you can learn it so you can start dropping jaws in your own barn. Ready? Sup guys, Coach Ryan here from Canadian Edge. In 1996, at the NCAA tournament against the University of Minnesota, a Canadian hockey player by the name of Mike Legg would score a goal that would absolutely rock the hockey world and forever change the way goal scorers thought but put the biscuit in the basket. Let's take a gander, bud. Bird drags him down. Nothing called, and Michigan still scrambling. It's a goal. Michigan finally somehow got it in the net to tie the game. I don't believe I saw what I think I just saw. But that puck, the shot came from behind it the net. It looked like it. Yes. And it may have been flipped over the net and off the back of the bus. I'm going to have to look at that again. But it was a surprise to everybody. And it's a tie hockey game. Watch Lafleur. He will take him down. That's Hilton goes down. But what happens to that puck? Behind the net. Watch this. Oh, he just reaches around Carried and stuffs it, around it in the top. Put it in. Unbelievable. That was an unbelievable goal by Mike Leg. Look at Leg hold that thing and put it up in the corner. I, <laughs> that's something you do in practice. That's something you do when you're fooling around with a puck. <laughs> Amazing. The goal was widely recognized around the hockey world, and Leg later on was awarded the goal of the year. The move is often referred to as the Michigan or the lacrosse move. 24 hours before Leg was pulling this off in a game, a lifetime minor leaguer was performing this for the sixth time. <laughs> yes, the actual inventor of the move is none other than Bill Armstrong. Interestingly enough, Bill played two seasons for Orlando Solar Bears from 1996 to 1998. In the IHL, this was today's best. How about Billy Armstrong? A little lacrosse style goal. Seen it once, seen it twice. Saturday, Armstrong's Bears facing Chicago. And there's one guy you don't want with the puck behind your net. No way. And Armstrong scores! Again. I think it's just a pretty good move that works effectively. Do we have to give him two S's? We should all practice. It over the right arm. That's pretty sick, right? When I saw this move for the first time, I had to find a way to not only figure out how to do it, but get so good at it that I could pull it off, not just for fun, but in a game. I really wanted to turn this quote unquote trick move into a weapon. The game has changed. Now we're starting to see a lot of players doing moves like this because they're very effective. The most awesome thing about it is, once you figure out how to do it, anyone can do it. From pro, to U16, to even a nine-year-old. Check out this, guys. Nine-year-old Aiden Green. Here's how we do it. So, what you want to do is take your stick. Sorry, guys. I can't release uh, all the details that make this move so spectacular, or else everyone will be doing it. But if you uh, give me a call on the uh, the number on the screen, you can book a private lesson, and I'll walk you through step by step every single little detail. Be able to add this move to your arsenal, and there's a few tricks that you have to know to be able to. To do this move. I personally taught this move to everyone from professional players to U16, even as young as a six-year-old I've been able to, to show this move to and been able to pull it off, which is pretty exciting to see from a little guy like that. So anyone can do it, but you have to know what you're doing. Hope everyone enjoyed the video today. Uh, comment, click, like, don't forget to, uh, to hit subscribe so you see future videos coming out and share the video around you know i'm sure a lot of people would like to like to see the history behind the lacrosse move or the michigan so uh take care guys till next time